you're going to need a USB cable that's compatible with the PS4. So go ahead and plug in your PS4 controller. And what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to put your PS4 into safe mode and that's going to give us some available options to try to fix your PS4 to get it working again. So in order to get your PS4 into safe mode, you're going to want to hold down the power button for about seven seconds until you hear two beeps. So here we go. One beep. You should hear a second beep soon. And that's the second beep. So if everything worked out correctly, you should see on your screen where it says safe mode, connect a DualShock 4 using USB cable and then press the PS button. Okay, so at this point you're going to want to press the PS button and then it's going to take you to the next screen which is the safe mode menu. Now, if you press the PS button and nothing happens, you're going to have to find another USB cable that is compatible with your PS4. So it needs to support both charge and data. So you can look around your house, see if you find one. So if you can't find one that works, I will leave a link down in the description below to a compatible USB cable that works if you need to pick that up. Okay, so go ahead and press the PS button and you're gonna see a list here. It may vary for you depending on which specific model your PS4, but for me, I have the PS4 Pro and it gives me eight options, okay? So go ahead and select option four to restore default settings. Now, this shouldn't delete anything on your PS4. However, I have heard instances where it has deleted uh, some stuff. But to show you that the majority of the time it doesn't delete anything, I'm gonna go ahead and do it on my PS4 and we're gonna see I have Street Fighter installed and I have a safe game and I just earned a trophy and we're gonna see if that is still on my PS4 once I do this. So I'm gonna go ahead and select four, press X. And yes, we wanna return everything to the default values initializing and it's going to restart your ps4 okay as we see here the ps4 is starting okay so it's going to ask you to go through basically the setup again go ahead and press the ps button english i'm going to cancel setting up the network and just skip all this just so we could see if street fighter is there Next, next, next. Okay, so we see here, as you can see here on top, it still has my trophies. So I should have one trophy for Street Fighter that I just earned. And if I go to settings, and then I go down to application save data management, I should see my Street Fighter 4 save game. And there it is, you see 21.30 megabytes. 